It's Lynn here. Hope you're having an amazing day. Now in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about uh, viruses on epiphyllum plants. I'm going to be showing you a few um, examples of what I've got with my epiphyllums. Now it's actually very, very common um, with epiphyllum plants, which are these plants here, to come down with um, leaf spotting and viruses. And I've had a few people ask me, um, they, they've sent me photographs and things saying that their epiphyllum plants have got spots on. And obviously, because I've experienced this many times with mine, I'm going to tell you a little bit of uh, things that I do when mine have this. Now, there could be a number of reasons why they're coming down with these spots, um, which I'll just show you here. Now, the most important one to check for is obviously it's not scale insect because it can look very, very similar. Scale insects are like little raised bumps on the surface of your plants and they do resemble um, like a leaf spotting and um, the common virus that a lot of epiphyllums have. So obviously always check. If you're not sure, try um, using a um, some isopropyl um, rubbing alcohol. And if it is scale, it will always come off um, with some, some um, cotton wool balls dipped in isopropyl alcohol. Um, if it doesn't come off, as in this case here, it doesn't matter if you scraped and scraped, it wouldn't come off. Then it's usually always down to a virus. And I'm just showing you this one here. This is my Epiphyllum pegasus, um, which is one of my um, most favourite plants. And it has got... Sadly, I, I mean, I say sadly, but it's always seemed to have lived with it. A bit of a virus that it has little brown spots that come on some of the leaves and then it forms into a bit of a scab and then just calluses itself over and then carries on growing. And it's sort of done this. I've had this plant for many, many years. It's never died. Um, I've never, ever lost any epiphyllum plant to any of these um, viruses. Um, and this is where I'm going to be sharing my experience with it. There's another one there. Again, a different plant again. It's got that lovely bud, guys. That's going to be an amazing flower. First time this one has flowered for me. So um, this one is the... I'll just check the label with that one. That's the Chi Chi Castanengo. It was actually given to me from a cutting last year. So uh, it's going to be exciting to see that. And also this one coming into big bud as well. That's the... Um, Lovely, lovely golden one. The first time for me also. Um, golden uh, Splendor. So that's getting very exciting. I love the epiphyllums. Anyway, I'll get back on track. Yes, the, with the viruses, I've never personally lost any plants to an epiphyllum virus. Um, I tend to just cut the infected leaves away. And um, usually the, the new growth can often be fresh and new. But sometimes you usually find a couple of years later, you'll start to get another leaf that will go the same as in this case here. So there's, there's two ways of dealing with this. Now, obviously, there are some viruses that can be very life-threatening to your plants. And um, unfortunately, nothing you do will save the plant. As I say, it's, it's very common with epiphyllums to have this with the leaves. It seems to be a genetic thing. And because there's so many hybrids, a lot of the plants, it's not always down to them not being healthy. It's just in their genetics. And they just seem to form this strange scabbiness on the leaves that um, fortunately it doesn't matter what conditions you're you're doing the perfect conditions it will still sort of happen it's sort of inside the the plant but it's usually isolated to that individual plant and therefore will not spread to your other plants but bear in mind there are some viruses that can be spread to your other plants sometimes the virus will happen by insect damage sucking insects um Pests such as mealybugs, green fly and other aphids and scales can spread to your other plants and infect the virus to them. Um, but the majority of the time it is usually sort of isolated to individual plants. As I say, I've, kept, I've got many, many epiphyllums here and none of the other ones have ever been affected. I've only got this one here, which is my Pegasus that ever since I can remember, it's always had spotting and then it will cut out and form again um, the new growth and also this one also seems to be having it and this one here is um, my golden another golden splendor that I've got here this one also has as you can see 
the um, sort of virus on here too. Now I do keep this one isolated because this is a, a new plant for me. It was given to me as a cutting last year and I'm not sure whether the it's an isolated virus and therefore just only unharmful to the other plants or whether it is something that it's got but because it's coming into flower I honestly don't want to throw this plant out I'm keeping an eye on it I do keep it away from my other ones and I'll just show you what this looks like it's a bit of a different virus to the other type of plants I have where it just comes up with the scabbiness which it has there but um, rather than having the spots it's sort of the leaves are very sort of discolored as you can see it has a bit of yellow markings on it and a little bit of spotting so this one I am keeping away from my others and sometimes because if you're not sure if the virus can spread or not um, again always isolate any plants you're not sure about and I do treat them with a fungicide um, I don't know whether it really makes a lot of difference but I use um, a fungicidal spray um, a horticultural spray on, spray on the plants and it, sometimes it can stop it from spreading and um, also you can also use um, cinnamon powder as well if you wanted to also rub it on as well to prevent any sort of fungicidal attacks but that was just to talk to you a little bit about this bit of a mystery that epiphyllums do tend to have and it seems to happen with a lot of people's plants as i say if this happens to you don't throw your plant out if you're not quite sure of it isolate your plant grow it in a separate part of your home or garden so it's not going to necessarily spread to other plants but I personally myself I just sort of live with this virus and I know other people who grow epiphyllums also they seem to have it on their plants um, in their collections and like I say it's never killed any of my plants it's more of an unsightly thing you can cut it away but as in my experience, you usually find it just comes back on another leaf. <laughs> but um, that was all I really wanted to say. And share your exper experiences, guys, with your epiphyllum plants. Do you find that you also get these sort of strange spots and markings on them also? And if so, please leave your comments down below because I'd love to hear from you. And um, I'm actually going to put a couple of links down at the bottom of this page, at the bottom of this video on the about section to a couple of articles on the epiphyllum virus where you can have a read yourself to realise that it is very sort of common and um, also things you can sort of do about it if you wanted to take, take preventions. And um, watch out for future video of these beautiful flowers guys and I've made a video already on how to care for epiphyllum plants so if you haven't seen that video please do check the link up above guys and that's where I talk to you about um, how to care and grow epiphyllum it's one of the most easiest uh, cacti varieties of plants you can grow very very good for beginners and um, they do require very different growing conditions to the common desert type of cacti these plants do like a lot more humidity and they do like to be kept water during the winter um, unlike the desert cacti um, so please do check that link up, up above guys and um, if you haven't got one in your collection you have to treat yourself because the flowers on these plants are absolutely out of this world guys and I'm going to put a link up above now to a video on my pegasus which is this one here in flower the flower is absolutely breathtaking and it's probably one of the most favorite flowers um, along the epiphyllums um, that I think I have in my collection um, so guys I hope you found that useful I want to send you loads of love heaps of happiness and tons and tons of cactus power as always from Ireland and until the next video guys bye